My name is Alethea. I'm part of the Core Data Hub team, as you can see with my awesome sweatshirt. And I'm uh, super excited to share with you our upcoming uh, schema history feature. So we're starting off by rolling out this feature that we like to call like the schema history blame view. Um, so similar to GitHub, you know, where like you can activate a, a Git blame uh, where you can see, um, you know, when um, code was last updated, you can kind of do the same thing with Data Hub now. So if I click on this blame um, button over here, you can see on the left, I get this column that says like when the schema was last updated um, and how, so you can see like, you know, this was added in this version of that, um, uh, this version. So um, if I click over here, this is really cool thing, similar to how the Git blame uh, version works where I can directly click on this and see the blame prior to this version. So I wanna to go to version 0.0.0, .0, which was three days ago. <laughs> and there is a, there's a request to zoom a little bit more. Oh, yeah, no problem. Is that better? I, I guess the right side is cut off a little bit, but let me know if that's okay. But you know, you can see now, this is just what was happening in version 0.0.0. .0. You can see the timestamp of like when, um, you know, uh, this was reported. Um, and then we actually have a version selector here. So where you can go to a different version. Um, so there's two ways to access um, this version history. You can either click on one of these icons over here, or you can um, use this version selector. Cool. Um, yeah, and th the other thing I wanted to mention is that these axes are independent. So, you know, um, I can still do this version selector. Um, even without activating this blame view, um, you know, I can have either or both of those uh, activated. Sweet. Um, let me stop sharing. Um, Maggie, can we take it to the uh, next slide, please? Let's see, where did that go? You bet. Cool, for some reason I can't see your screen. Oh, there we go. Great, so that's what we're introducing in the uh, next version of Data Hub. We should have that released to you very shortly. Um, but then after that, we were thinking like, you know, like what else can we do to um, give you like better insights into your schema history? So like the blame view is one great step, but the next thing we also wanna do is add a timeline view where, you know, um, you can see over here, um, you know, like uh, in just a little bit of a different way than that blame view, like, what sort of updates were made, you know, like what tags and terms were added, when were descriptions edited, um, you know, schema updates and stuff. And um, we're also planning it so that you can click on a specific version. And then that takes you to this differ that you can see over here um, that shows, um, you know, what was the diff between that version and what was present at the previous version.